Hello, hello. Hey. Hello. How are you on this wonderful day? It's fine. That's what your background says. <laughs> if you got nice snow over there, here it's just cold in Ireland. Oh yeah, same in Munich. Let's, let's see if global warming gives us white Christmas or not. So, people should be starting to appear soon. Hey, Simone. Is it Simone or is it Simone as in German? I think I like the German version because otherwise I always turn out to be a Simon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I think it's this long O which designates this outside of German, but I'm not quite certain to be honest. But I can it also. It can be. Yeah, so English speakers is usually Simone, but then it turns out to be Simon after three emails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I take names seriously, so I try to remember Simone. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. I'm in Christmas mood today. <laughs> you, oh no, okay. I thought you had a color gradient in your tree, but it's just changing lights. Uh, yeah, we, we got it. It's an artificial tree and there's an app. It's twinkly. You can, you can set different patterns. It's pretty neat. Actually, it maps the tree lights like it, you point it and, um, and then you can, the kids, you know, they, they can, they can make custom things. And I seriously just... hope you have hooked it up to the alert miniature, huh? Hooked it up to the what? <laughs> to the alert miniature. <laughs> Okay. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, I wonder if Twinkly too. has an API. So if the service goes down, my Christmas tree will start strobing or something. <laughs> Everything is a source of metrics. We're an event. We're an alertable thing. Uh, an alert target. I'm a little low energy today, so I'm going to ask uh, Richard and or Bart Bartek to to oh, sure. yeah. drive. Yeah. No worries. Uh, I'll recuse myself for obvious reasons um, once we hit a certain hasty topic. So as a reminder, please everyone write yourself in as the uh, in the attendee list. Um, one point of order uh, is if we should have the next call on the 22nd of December, and I think we should because we still have a few work packages left. So it makes sense to just uh, try and cover this unless there's strong opposition uh, from anyone who, who doesn't want us to, to bleed into, into the quiet days. Okay, cool. So we are doing- yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll be planning to attend. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm on PTO, but I do care about all of this stuff. Yeah, so me too, but I'm interested. <laughs> um, yeah, Matt, you wanted to speak about um, the, uh, <laughs> oh yeah i'll be i'll be super brief on this one um we're running in production uh prometheus grafana enterprise cortex and loki and soon tempo we're starting uh, uh this week actually um as well as a bunch of other stuff and in order to run that on eks um you know we had to 
do some additional configuration. Uh, and I talked in previous calls about wanting to jumpstart sort of a, um, not like a, you know, SIG observability, SIG observability says do it this way or not anybody says anything, but just here are some end user driven examples of how people are running observability tooling. In our case, we're using mostly Tanka, but we're also using Customize and Helm um, and we're doing it on EKS. But um, so I'm in the process of open sourcing uh, how we're running these tools uh, in the hope that some of the learnings that we've had over the last couple of months, um, you know, for example, annotations on service accounts. And um, if anybody else got hit when Docker Hub started rate limiting, we needed to have image pull secrets on all service accounts. Uh, in, in addition, we run things pretty securely so that in Kubernetes default service accounts don't have any rights or permissions, meaning that we had to create pod security policies and lots of our back stuff. So, so we're open sourcing that stuff. And over the next couple of weeks, I'll be filling out um, the rest of the configurations as well as how we're using the Prometheus Ksonet project, which is a, a JSONet project uh, that is an opinionated way to run Grafana and Prometheus that has a nice pluggable mix-in model so that all of the uh, operational dashboards to run logging, tracing metrics, uh, backends uh, are there. We found them to be useful. So my hope is that that GitHub org is a place where if other people want to contribute, they, they could. Um, and um, and I'll also be using that GitHub org to, to work on some tooling around CI, CD, as well as um, like a, there's a VS Code plugin that 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 could use some help and, and some things like that. So this isn't anything officially CNCF, but um, perhaps it could be the nucleus or, or a way to jumpstart building out. Um, I don't I don't want to say reference architectures because that that sounds very opinionated and very official, but maybe a community driven catalog or or examples or or what a compendium maybe that's a good word. So naming naming help would be appreciated. But there's a link in the in the doc if anyone else is interested, and I'm hoping by Christmas to have most of our stuff uh, most of our stuff put to there with some examples. Uh, and then and then lastly I'll say um, what's there now are libraries that can be used um, and. Uh, one of the things that we found useful about this particular stack and other stacks are the same um, uh, potentially is is to, to have a real focus on if you're a developer new to the SIG, here's something you can run to get everything working on your laptop. Um, and, and I think in many cases, there doesn't need to be invention of net new collateral or artifacts. There just needs to be you know, pointing to other resources uh, for a developer. So, so I'm starting with our production configs, but I hope to backfill how you can do this. In, in the case of us as an end user, it's been useful and, and worthwhile as a goal uh, to have how iterative, iterative local development uh, works in terms of tool chain uh, and have that match how, in our case, production runs so that we don't have um, a skills gap there. But that's it. So. Okay. I will also say lastly that what's there now is quite primordial and thin. It's it's quite light. <laughs> it's not much there at all. But um, but what's there is yeah a starting point. So just as a point of order, I will now recuse myself as chair yet again um, for the remainder of this meeting, at least as long as we uh, talk due diligence uh, and hand over to Bartek. Cool. Amazing. Let's um, continue what we started a uh, week ago, two weeks ago, sorry. Um, and I hope we we have lots of time for, for anyone to kind of um, review it if they are um, interested. So hopefully we have more context on this. So let's go. Actually, I can share my screen as usual. And let's go through this incubation and then check if we have any concerns or if we can um, propose this to the TOC as our recommendation. That's a good my project hat on. So what we did is we went through everything last week as agreed um, to uh, basically reply to comments, uh, put in more stuff, delete stuff as appropriate wherever uh, people had comments, questions, concerns. Um, we deliberately didn't close any comments and we deliberately did not change any text, but we put everything as suggestions in suggestion mode or we replied to um, 
to comment so we can make sure or a certain or what have you um, that we address each and every point uh, which has been raised. Um, so we can just scroll through this, however, and, and just look at if that is what people were looking for. I didn't see any comments after sending the email last week asking for updates. So I think it should all be clear, but still um, let's walk through it. Cool, amazing. I just reverted like five changes I made because I started to accept those suggestions. So <laughs> it was changed. So now I reverted. So it should be um, all the fresh changes that we seen uh, in comparison to two weeks ago. Okay. And the flow, um, hopefully we can do the same. So I can by default just call for consensus and um, please speak up if you have any concerns or questions or um, follow up comments essentially. Sounds good. Okay, um, so first of all, let's go through the first topic that was uh, already commented uh, two weeks ago. So essentially if the project is self-governing um, and the governance was created. However, there were, first of all, question around um, more time to revisit the whole topic. Uh, we definitely extended that to two weeks. So um, I'm happy to um, accept this. Where are the meetings and are those opens? Um, public meetings are started from now on, looks like that's the response. Fortnite call intention to be public um, soon. Is there application to AETF uh, public? And uh, yes, you can find it on the email list, looks like. Um, is there, uh, let's maybe because, okay, is this copied from, okay. So essentially governance is copied from Prometheus with minor changes. And that was kind of the, the question, like what exactly is um, changed and looks like cleaner donation of repositories within the GitHub org. So uh, yeah, that's pretty specific. Um, we have many GitHub uh, projects in Prometheus um, that has different kind of rules. So that makes sense. And IDF rough consensus is not a lazy consensus. Um, that sounds good to me as well. And we have a project lead in open metrics, uh, looks like. Okay. Um, are we happy with this? Is there consensus on that as a seek observability? Okay, no objections. So leaving that, let's go to number two, condo contact. Um, yep, it's exactly the same as CNCF. So is there consensus? No. No objections so far, so let's move on. And I think this part actually was agreed before, but let's repeat. All right, and um, that was the the, 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 the concerning point uh, that we spent some, uh, some amount of time. So let's see, does the project have production deployments that are high quality and high velocity? And uh, yes, we have, I mean, uh, open metrics have, um, Python since October. Yeah, let's uh, accept those suggestions. Python since October and Go since January. Yep, and this hopefully un uh, addresses the Steve's comment around um, being explicit. So I'm marking this, well, I'm marking this in, as done. I just added Perl, of course, I got confirmation from the Perl uh, person that they're also implementing support. Perfect, yeah, sounds good. Um, marking go as well explicitly. Rabi, that's interesting. Okay, so looks like this is already done. Perl, okay, and PHP clients libraries and implement support. So anyway, uh, the Python is uh, support is quite long. However, curiosity, uh, is there a Rust library? Uh, I don't there is go... a Rust client library for. Prometheus, a uh, maintained third party, which is a pretty direct clone of client Golang. I haven't heard anything about it in a while, but like there's like 15 of these. <laughs> so, so one definitely exists. I imagine it'll pick it up with everything else. Yeah, cool. I was just, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, 
And like I was thinking of the the linker D proxy in Rust uh, exports Prometheus metrics that are that are pretty awesome. But anyway, cool. I can take um, an action item to uh, follow up with that project as well. I have some meetings coming up in the next few weeks, so please do. We would love to see that. Yeah. Um, exemplars is also kind of a um, good point because that's a kind of nice feature of open metrics. And um, I know Thanos, we are already kind of developing this uh, support, but looks like Grafana Labs and Chronosphere are already using that. So there is this question, I don't know, how broad is the implementation? Sorry, just doing some extremely quick research. Um, that Linkerd2 proxy is doing its own exposition. Based on you know ten seconds of research. Oh yeah, no, no, no. Yes, I've, I've, I'm familiar with it. Um, that's why I was asking. Actually, I've, uh, I'm working. I'm working. We run Linkerd in production, and so we've been looking at ways to contribute. And I think there's an opportunity if there once there is a open metrics Rust client library that is. Um, yeah, that's 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 vetted and whatnot. Um, you know, yeah. That would be an opportunity to improve the project. Yeah, the the one Brian mentioned, um, <clears throat> the TIKV uh, Rust Prometheus client library. Um, that as as Brian mentioned, the data structures are all ported from the Go client, so it'd be pretty uh, pretty straightforward to uh, essentially add uh, add open metric support to that client library, since. Um, yeah, as the Go client has done, it's it's a very straightforward uh, minor set of modifications to, to be open metrics compliant. Cool, nice. <clears throat> okay, um, I don't know what to do with this comment and I don't remember how broad is the implementation. I think- Sorry, was... I, I just wanted to say for point of order too, like, you know, whether or not there's a Rust client has no bearing on, on, on the incubation. I, I suppose I'm out of order even asking. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, anyone can help with that. How broad is the implementation? What's, what does it mean? Okay, so maybe it means, is it fully implemented? All those kind of Python and Go? Who put a comment and if it's not a comment of anyone in the call without further call. like we we also didn't really know what that means um uh as we maybe so, broad adoption was the intention of that thing that's what we thought about but apparently didn't comment uh, that we thought it would be a question about adoption and not implementation and as this is based on on prometheus it's uh, all across the cncf um um, I don't think we should have the comments in the actual due diligence document once the document is done, but I also don't object to it. It's just, it, it seems weird to have this as part of the result set. Yeah, okay. I kind of agree. Maybe comment on number three, like add this as a comment and then we just resolve it. So you can like keep the history, but it shouldn't be part of the due diligence doc. No. Okay, cool. So. Do we have consensus as a seek observability? All right, looks like it is. Um, number four, is the project committed to achieving the CNCF principles and do they have a committed um, roadmap to address any areas of concerns? It's committed, there is no roadmap, but there is nature of a standard. But essentially the roadmap is if you have any concerns. So, um, is there any concern? We have a comment. Okay. And, uh, and sorry, the sorry, this is a very long comment for me. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think there are several things here. One was uh, compatibility with OTEL. I believe that one has been addressed. So there has been meetings between OM and OTEL. Um, the OM folks have joined the OTEL SIG meeting. And um, I think this is already commented here that work to collaborate and ensure that things are, are met. So from an OTEL perspective, I'm, I'm good with the first part of the comment that I had. Unless anyone objects, of course. All right, there are several other ones here though. I don't know if these have been addressed. Um, okay. 
So support for dots and metric. I, 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 some of these are kind of generic. So maybe you just take the second to the bottom one. Like many GitHub issues have been idle for, for years. Um, I don't know if that one has been addressed. So we've all been closed with uh, references to the specific parts of, um, of the documentation and such, or of the specification, not the documentation. But they've okay. all been closed um, except for two. One is a more uh, generic scraping thing, and one is a request for a README on um, differences and, and synergies with uh, open telemetry. But as we have the joint call in two days, uh, we thought we would wait for that one before we move forward on, on that one issue. That was a pretty Sounds good uh, event flood when you closed all those. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yes. <laughs> yes. Nice. All right, but we have more, so... Um... Yeah, so um, I mean, as they are referring to issues within uh, which have been closed, um, maybe we can just jump at those for the dots and metric names. Um, I can already tell you it's an incompatibility, uh, which is which cannot be covered by open metrics because else we would be breaking with uh, Prometheus. Um, but that's been uh, clear from from the get go of the whole project, um, for better or for worse. Uh, we did have that discussion within the working group several times, but in the end, uh, dots are just not in metric names, um, which has implications towards uh, how, how to map things within open telemetry. Inside. We will work on those, but that's outside the scope of the due diligence for just the project which we're covering. Um, drop visit integration, um, you can just click it. I already brain flushed what we answered. Um, and yeah, the idleness um, that's been um, that's been addressed. Let me check the drop wizard stuff. Yeah. Oh, Ryan, do you have yes. it by heart? Yeah, yeah. Like there are no special considerations for drop wizard. Like the only consideration is that hey, summaries exist as a type with quantiles because drop wizard and its various uh, clones across various languages. Like that is the only consideration. But otherwise, like drop wizard doesn't require any special consideration. But it, Drop wizard itself does not have an output format, but it goes to all sorts of stuff. And even the client Java, like the Prometheus client Java, has a drop wizard plugin to take those metrics. So it will automatically pick that stuff up when I get around to finishing that code. So for the purpose of this due diligence, uh, I, I think we have it answered, but obviously if anyone disagrees, uh, we can we can discuss it. Yeah, and semantic conventions ones, what does self contained mean within open metrics? Can you just elaborate? Um, but the specification, when, when implemented, um, you have everything which you need for emitting metrics through that wire format within that one specification. So, I mean, obviously, there are one or two references to outside standards and such, uh, which pull in the definitions from the other standards. But beyond this, there is nothing which. Um, which is left hanging in thin air. Everything is either defined within the specification or it has a specific and explicit reference to a, uh, another specification pulling those definitions in, which is a hard requirement from ITF anyway. Uh, of course, they need to be written as such. I see. <laughs> Very complex explanation, but for the simple work, I mean, yeah. Um, but complete. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay, so looks like it feels uh, the, the, the comments were all addressed. So, yeah, I'm good with it. Perfect. Thank you. And there is one comment around uh, mentioning in the roadmap there is um, collaboration with Open Telemetry. And uh, looks like it is part of the roadmap already somewhere. And it's also like we already had a call and I think Steve, I mean, Steve took part of in the call, so I think he can confirm that we're actually yep. working on this. Yeah, I, I'm good with number four as it stands. I think anything that was open from my perspective has been addressed. Okay. All right, thank you. So given that, um, let's have a call for consensus. Anyone has any objections for consensus here? Looks like not. Uh, okay. Next one. Um, 
document that the project has a funda fundamentally sound design without obvious critical compromises that will inhibit potential widespread adoption. Um, given that was, yeah, um, that was based on the Prometheus, it has kind of strong background, but there were lots of comments. Uh, oh, a bit of comments. Yeah, the biggest one, I think, yeah, so I think the biggest one was for me from Open Symmetry, but again, we've been resolving this. So I don't see any blockers as it stands right now between the two projects, nor any blockers from a due diligence standpoint. So at least from an Open Symmetry perspective, I'm, I'm good on this one. Sounds good. Um, to me, it uh, sounds solid as well. So let's have a call for consensus. Any objections, any comments? Okay, consensus then. Document that the project is useful for cloud native deployments and degree that is architected in cloud native style. Um, open metric is the only truly cloud native wire format for metrics that um, I don't know, it's a bold statement. Uh, it came out number I was going to say that's almost uh, like, that's like proving a negative or something like it's, that's a, that's a difficult statement as it stands, but yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> maybe um, one of the, or, or, or one of the few, or I, I, I don't know. Are you reading that section? I would tend to agree and just uh, changed it. Especially with OTLP around the corner, um, yeah. not intended that way. <laughs> um, however, it is it is a truly cloud native wire format. It came up number five in the CNCF observability and survey. So definitely people that have clouds and, and um, are using Kubernetes um, are interested in that. So call for consensus, any concerns, any blockers? Okay. Yeah, I, I think this whole question is a little more applicable for things that are not just wire formats, really. We had that several times, but we answered it as best as we could. Uh, and where appropriate made references to us being a wire format, which, yeah, we, we, don't, we a lot of things don't apply, but we made a good faith effort to, to reply. So yep, it yep, yep, yep. Of course. Sounds good. Document that the project has an affiliate affinity for how CNCF operates and understand the expectations of being a CNCF project. Uh, yeah, given all of, I mean, most of the maintainers are Prometheus maintainers. Um, yeah, uh, we trust that they know what they do. <laughs> um, any objections to that? Call for consensus. Okay, done. Okay, review of graduation criteria and desired cloud native properties. Um, sandbox graduation, is it okay, or exit requirements of sandbox? Because this is kind of incubation graduation. Shouldn't it be incubation here? Yeah, I don't know. It is yeah, graduation that... from sandbox and a <laughs> Yeah. Okay, incubation. Yeah, I yeah, think from... the, the, the... Yeah. yeah, it's it's kind of like you know my kid graduated from second grade or something like. <laughs> okay, and uh, document, box. Yeah. yeah, document that is being used successfully in production by at least three independent end users, which will focus on an adequate equity and scope defined. Yeah, so CNCF end user survey kind of. Uh, um, well, well, there is like well, um, users that mentions already, but for convenience, we could link to that. I mean, I, I know which one it is, but you know, if someone so, yeah. um, looks at it, I have a question on this one. Like, we're listed there. I, I mean, we're not like in, the, in an Everquotes case, we're using Prometheus and remote, right? Right. Um, right. Right. We're using remote, right? Is there an implication that there's something specific about this, or is this basically anyone using Prometheus and remote, right, is using this? format because if that's the case we could expand this to be just the prometheus community anyone using this with python uh, with python and such uh if i remember correctly we poked you if you're using something with python and you said yes and that's why and you want oh to dude i'm not i'm not saying you need to remove us i was just saying like i'm trying to understand like in the context of the of open metric specifically i think it's it's more than just three right isn't it pretty much everyone using <laughs> Prometheus no. and Python together. 
It yeah, says listing, listing those is hard, as there's potentially many of them, and it asked for tree, so we found tree. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, leave us in there. Just uh, capitalize Q, or else somebody will somebody will come find me later and say I should have said capitalize Q. <laughs> I yeah. can just do it too. Sorry. Uh, and just to address the point by Michael, um, as we speak, I'm looking for the uh, technology radar. Ah, I found it. So I just copy and paste it, and then we can accept it. Um, of course, that is uh, that was a very good point. Where are we? Here we are. Right. I copied it in. Perfect. Um, we have comment though from Arthur. It's official document required. Something like adopters. It's a good question. Um, and I don't think it's required for, you know, the, the concrete mean, how do you provide the adopters? But it's, I guess, nice to have them on, on website, but I don't think there is agreement. Just... Uh, there is a requirement for Due diligence, but I think some suggestion to to the project um, that can be optionally done, I guess. Just move on; it'll be it'll be there and linked before we are done with this call. Like that's trivial. I'm literally just copying over a few names. Awesome. All right. Do we have <laughs> wrong thing? Of it. Call for consensus. Then, any objections? Any comments? Cool. Um, is there is there an adopters? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm a little bit slow mentally today. I, I was out <laughs> sick yesterday. Um, so is there an adopters file that we should make PRs to? Or I'm literally creating it as we speak. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Neat. Because that's the easiest. Then we can just close it. I still disagree that it would be needed in the context of this due diligence, but yeah, I agree. You can just stop talking about it once it's there. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's not needed, I think. Anyway, let's go. Have a healthy number of committers. A committer is defined as someone with the commit uh, permissions, I guess. Someone who can accept contributions. And we have, um, yeah, four of those core active maintainers. So, and yeah, um, I think. I can definitely confirm they are active, um, but is there any comment and objections towards that? Call for consensus. Okay, no, let's move on. Demonstrate a substantial ongoing flow of commits and merge contributions. And uh, yeah, the caveat here is that GitHub was not used for most of part of the work, right? It's mostly Google Doc. So I think this applies to me, but uh, worth to kind of riffing this question then, flow of commits, flow of merge contributions, I think this applies. Um, actually, so that's fine. We, we make a hard commitment to keep development in public, um, re-onboarding previous maintainers even after a half year gap. And um, plan is to have code contributions yeah, okay. Implementations I'm, 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 were done in Prometheus. Okay, sorry. Quick, quick question. You're, you're moving quick. Um, is is I should just go look, but is this already in dev stats? If not, we should probably take an action to add all it to dev stats. The dev CNCF stats. That's dev stats. All member projects are in dev stats. They're Git orgs, else you wouldn't be part of Sandbox. That's part of the onboarding. The initial. Oh, that was part of Sandbox. Or, okay, great. Thanks. Yeah. Anything which is on, like we predate most of this with the initial uh, creation of the project, but this has been applied to every single CNCF project. Yeah, I wasn't sure because this started outside of, of as you mentioned, out in a different source control. So I just wanted to make sure that, cool. Awesome, okay. And uh, looks like the implementations were done in Prometheus Arc with help of Datadog as well, which is which is nice. Um, and yeah, and also in their repository, like they also did it on their end, obviously, but they also mm -hmm. sent up performance improvements and bug fixes um, out of the blue. <laughs> like they just started sending them. Okay, so it looks like there is uh, like, um, yeah, nice notes, even like what exactly, how the decision was made, um, similar to what we do in the Dev Summits, I agree. Okay, 
um, to me, there is definitely ongoing flow of contributions. So call for consensus. Any concerns, objections? Okay. Um, here, let's make it quick. I think name is open metrics. Like, do we need to? Uh, yeah, okay, let's do this. Um, call for consensus. The last part was, the, was to the large sections here because we, we got yeah. on with the same for Cortex and Thanos. Um, that we just said large sections because um, this is endless here. Large sections, okay. Um, project description, open metrics, creates an open startup from TrustMedia Cloud Native Metrics at scale with support for text representation and protocol buffers and de facto standard. Like it's kind of bigger section, so let's quickly have call of core consensus. Any objections to this description? No, okay, let's move on. Uh, alignment, we are aligned. We sponsor from TOC. Um, any kind of known status? I mean, several. We are talking to several, and several have expressed interest, but none has fully committed yet. Um, so uh, currently, we are obviously not naming them to to not put pressure on them to to follow through because they said something ever. Um, but I do expect this to happen within the next few days. Amazing. That's okay for me. Um, license Apache 2, GitHub repository is there, external dependencies. That's an important one. This question, uh, okay. External dependencies of the spec. We don't depend, we de do depend on several IETRFC and the proto above specification. That's, well, that's a uh, dependency to me. Um, and uh, yeah, let's have a call for consensus. Any objections on external dependencies? on open metrics, of open metrics. Okay, let's move on. Release methodology, and that's a that's an interesting one. How do you release standard and patches, right? Being a standard, we are moving slowly and deliberately. Any chances are considering costly from Geos, Cortex, Thanos, and Kubernetes, all of them CNCF projects. And Steve, you had some question. Hey, Bartek, can you just increase the size a little bit of your screen? Just yes. to widen it. Sorry. Thanks. I think Steve mentioned that all his questions were answered. Oh, oh I know he mentioned it. Hi, oh, there he is. Perfect. Yeah, sorry. I stepped away for a second. Um, I think this was, I don't even remember, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure we're, we're all set for this one, so I'm not worried about it. Okay. Additionally, we follow the IDF RFC process. Um, okay, so this, this applies as well. That sounds fair to me. Call for consensus. Any objections? Okay, let's move on. Community size and existing sponsorship. Uh, yeah, this is again hard to measure because, but like, anyway, like, and through client go like every Kubernetes user is also an open metrics user. Um, I think that's first statement. Um, and also maybe we can link the end user rather like that's kind of related. Yeah, I, I'll do that. But apart from that, call for consensus. Any comments, any objections? I think we are happy with that. Okay. An architectural design and feature overview should be available. And um, hey, Steve, not making it. From the... Yeah, I think just a link to the implementation would be great. It's just more of a comment. The implementation or the specification? Because again, we are Sorry. running. Do you, did you say the implementation or the specification? We can do both or either, uh, just to be clear about what you want to see here. Uh, I think I'm more interested in the implementation. Like people are gonna to wanna to know how it's used or how it can be leveraged or where it is leveraged today. So I think the implementation is super important. Okay. okay. 
I, I didn't notice this the first time I read it as well, what? but when it says push and pull over webhooks in the very first line, like, do we want to just replace webhooks with like HTTP or something? It's a nit, but I, I don't know. I didn't realize it until just now when I looked at it a second time. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I just think to make it th language yeah. neutral, you know, like, I think like spoken language neutral. The specification, <laughs> while it uh, outlines HTTP pull as um, like preferred method, it's not. I, I think perhaps the reason why webhooks was used here is it actually is not tied to HTTP. Um, it's it's meant oh, to be. Oh, I see. Wide you could format. put it over like whatever. You could put it over. Right. Serial or SCSI or. <laughs> Or your own <laughs> protocol. <laughs> yeah. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. So, TCP, maybe. <laughs> How about so? Then we cover. Well, yeah, no, it's not even a TCP. Yeah, okay. So, I, I see that that makes perfect sense, actually. And, and webhooks makes more sense than with that. Thank you for clarifying. No, we, we had I wasn't joking about SCSI, too. We, we have considerations that we basically don't care about the underlying network layer because again as a wire format we care about the representation of exactly at that mm -hmm. one point and what you do left and right is your more yeah. or less you do this. like within reason anyway it looks like we have implementation we have clear standard reference so that's fine for me okay call for consensus are we happy any objection well, um, did you want to drop the HTTP part? I mean, we already was like, changing that. Well, it's bad, but I, no, I don't mean to drop stuff. it. I mean, it was a very good explanation why we didn't. I mean, it's not specific to HTTP. That's a perfectly valid perhaps, point. It, yeah, perhaps it could be H, like a transport protocol, and then in brackets such as HTTP or something. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. We have a very long tail. Um, <laughs> um, I'll fix it, and I'll self-accept my changes. Yep. That's great. Thanks. And thanks okay. for the explanation. Makes sense. You could easily see people implementing their own protocols for IoT and other scenarios. Yeah, precisely. All right, let's move on. What are the primary target cloud native use cases? Which of those can be accomplished now? All cloud native metrics use cases are covert. And given that it's kind of similar to Prometheus, I tend to agree. Um, and let's have maybe uh, like a call for consensus for all of those four. Can be accomplished with reasonable additional effort. Um, ID for RSC release, yes. So given a new release, we can, I mean, open metrics can, can do Im improvements. Are in scope, but beyond the current roadmap for the next month. So what, what kind of cloud native use cases are like that? Yeah, current probe map is efficient histograms, and that's it. And out of scope, logging and tracing are out of scope. Also see additional documentation. Um, yeah, that's feel fair to me. Um, and I have a question regarding the out of scope. If I remember correctly, last time, Richie, you mentioned there is a plan for logging. Yes, but this is outside the scope of open metrics. Because that deals only with metrics. Right, know. right, right, right. The naming is super confusing. Right, right, right. But same as logs are outside the scope of Prometheus, uh, logs are outside the scope of open metrics. Right, right, right. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm just trying to put myself into the position of someone from TC reading it from top to bottom and, you know, reading the, there, there's yeah, something planned yeah. around logs at the top and then it's like oh no logs out of scope but yeah, yeah yeah you're right it's out of scope for metrics yeah hmm. makes sense uh one minor need is that you could add that to the scope because i can see it's not there it's only one kind of ingester discover um discovery is out of scope but nothing about tracing and logging so we have, yeah, this is reverse defined by talking about this is about metrics in the introductionary set uh, yeah, thing. Yeah, that's fair point as well. Again, for the for the intents and purposes of due diligence, I think we made it clear now. Um, so yeah. Um, okay. I'm good. You can resolve mine. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Call for consensus. Any objections to that? Okay, move on. 
what exactly are the failure modes? Um, are they well understood? Uh, have they been tested? Do they form part of the continuous integration testing? Um, and are they appropriate given the intended usage? The main failure mode of a spec if it's not what the main failure mode of a spec is if it's not followed. Okay. The specification. If you remove the contraction, that might be simpler. <laughs> just remove the <laughs> anyway, apostrophe and just yeah. That would make sense. Um, it's using may should not follow to make it easier. And there are even tests, test cases to, to I guess, match compatibility. Yeah, right, right now the Python client is the main, uh, um, <clears throat> is the implementation that's, that's, that's tested against, but it's um, abstracted to, uh, <clears throat> be able to be fed into any, um, yeah, any arbitrary uh, implementation. Nice. Okay. Negative counter, right? For example. I showed um I showed this back to a colleague and and just to kind of get their feedback, you know, like fresh eyes. And while I don't think it, it, it might just be again like not necessarily like. So, so what they raised is that you know the spec doesn't call for any kind of like checksumming or 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 you know knowing that in a, in, in a secure way th these have been delivered and what i said well that, this is a wire format and whatever protocol would handle that would be you know at a different layer of the protocol stack um but somebody reading this for the first time might ask the same question so maybe like a one-liner would make sense i can propose one later that just says like you know oh by the way this is a wire format and it's not meant to but, but, part, have part of the spec B. But. No, we're actually talking about this as part of the specification. We have the EOF to, to know that the message itself is complete. Anything under this is uh, is handled by the underlying layers as is usual in any networking, as else you have the classic effect of having oh, TCP connection cool. tunnels. So, yep. Oh, great. I, I must have missed it then as well um, in the ITF version. Uh, great. Super. Never mind. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let's try to finish as much as we can. We have 15 minutes so, left. Just quick question on this one. So semantic versioning, will there be backwards compatibility? Should something be said about backwards compatibility? That's also part of the spec um, where uh, we always have backwards compatibility to 1.0 uh, basically. And we follow somewhere in spirit, same as the Promethean uh, libraries follow somewhere in spirit, where it makes sense for the specific project, of course, not all of somewhere applies. Yep. Okay, cool. Thanks. Amazing. In that case, um, call for consensus. Any objections, further comments? Cool, let's move on. What trade offs have been made regarding performance, scalability, complexity? Uh, reliability security are these trade-offs explicit or implicit why are they appropriate given the internet usage are they user tunable um so there is uh, one trade-off looks like implementation must support pull and may but not need to uh, support push and also prop above um, for operational operational considerations and uh, that makes sense to me. And yeah, I guess that, yeah. Go on. one question, I guess, maybe, maybe this is more for the scope section, but uh, maybe making it ex super explicit, like the scope is a wire format and maybe even out of scope is um, the protocol type stuff. Um, I don't know if it's 100% clear okay. even reading the design considerations, if that's the case. Yeah. But that's part of the spec where we talk about that this is that we are just building on the transport. Like we can put something in. I don't think for the purpose of this due diligence, it's needed to write more here because it's again part of the spec. But like what specific wording would you like to see addressed? Uh, I, I guess like I was looking at the open metrics spec, the, the scope section that you that you have. It's, it's intended to provide telemetry for online systems. It runs over protocols. Um, I mean, explicitly saying that it is not a protocol maybe would be ensure that it's just out of scope uh, for when it comes to like performance type things. It's just more of a suggestion. Like I'm, I'm not very hard and fast um, on it. So, uh, okay, to make it quick, we'll just add it to the spec. And think, to the yeah. Blah, 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 and then, okay. Yeah, we we'll add it. 
Yeah, we'll add it to scope. It's already in the overview. <clears throat> um, it says primarily Y format, independent of any particular transport, <clears throat> but th this could be duplicated in scope, perhaps. Cool. Thanks. Nice. Otherwise, I'm I'm good with my comment. Yeah. I'll add a I'll add a proposed line async as well to the due diligence document, just calling out specifically the trade off. Like it, it's implied here, like Proto is much more efficient on the wire than than other alternatives. And I think you say operational considerations in the first um, paragraph, but I mean that that is the the nugget, right? That Proto provides a much more efficient, scalable um, implementation of it. Of the of the wire format, there's it's implied there, but we might want to just add some of this to, to, in huge, case whoever's reading this and the TOC doesn't just automatically know that. There's a huge discussion as to what you consider more efficient, but that is why we have this operational consideration. But right. um, such as performance, and then we can just move on. If yeah. just, we... just again, just to make it a little more human readable, depending on who else in the TOC might might not be super familiar with the implication. Cool, makes sense. Um, Trade-offs, RxPs, explain consideration section of spec. Okay, yeah, that's, that makes sense to me. Call for consensus, any objections, comments? All right, what are the most important holes? Uh, we are not aware of any important holes, and we have one comment. Migration. I'm good with the response. Yeah, I'm good. And I think we talked about that as well. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, Maybe gaps <laughs> instead of holes. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Call for consensus. Ship it. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to override a vote there. No worries. Code quality. Does it look good, bad, or mediocre to you? um code quality yeah i guess um it's it's quality of the spec that we can uh, discuss and definitely it, it feels professional at least to my extent um and but that, that i would actually suggest to to make it clear thing that this doesn't really apply right i mean clearly this is about code quality like you know, software and uh, like uh, how, yeah, how do you more tell if, uh, if, a, if a spec is well written or not i've been well there are styles, writing style specs for 20 years I, I like I, it's fine to keep the rest but i would definitely suggest to say it, it does not apply because it's a spec i mean I would say that's not strictly applies as it's spec, but we can maybe mention that the style of the spec is high quality as well, because I think that's that's kind of true. Is that okay? Um, and if yes, let's have I don't know call for consensus here as well, although it's it's a bit funnier. Any objections? Okay, let's move on. Dependencies. Actually, um, we already have a call for consensus on that, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, we already talked about those. What is the risk model versioning scheme? That's exactly uh, mentioned above. So call for consensus we can do, but to me, we already spoke about the risk model. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 Steve. Steve had a comment there to link to it, and you just deleted that comment. Yes, because it I was think that was the end survey, which we linked above. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, the problem here is, and this is also why with Cortex and Thanos we did this in large blocks and not per subse subsection, um, is that this is largely duplicating what was written above. Mm. Right, right, right. The FP data, yeah. so that's what we're following. Yep. Yeah, I'm sorry. sorry. I should not quickly that like that. Okay. It reminds me we have an action item to formalize that feedback to the TOC about their template. I'll make a note to myself. <sighs> yeah, we should have a, a dedicated spec template, to be honest. All right. What is the CACD status? Um, any code coverage metrics, if not 
um, any automated tests. Um, and although it's about spec, there is mention about implementations, have CI integrations, and there is even test cases that were already mentioned. Um, so can I agree with that? And the Python reference implementation has what? Quite huge implementation, uh, uh, the test coverage. That's, that's kind of impressive. Call for consensus on that one. Let's move on. Um, as agreed, let's call for consensus on the bigger items. Like Apache 2 is small. What are the recommended operational models? Deploy any modern cloud native metrics ingestion and use properly instrumented code. I think that's small enough. Let's go, let's move on. Project, yep. do we believe it is a growing, okay. Um, maybe you can do the. Yeah, I think that's that's just duplicating stuff here, right? There is nothing. Yeah, yeah. Is there yeah anything I had a read, read through this and all. I think, I mean, does anyone have any issues with this whole, you know, section? I mean, it, but let's, all... let's super quickly go through that, but not like, and have a, a bigger call for consensus at the end. So project, yes. it's growing, thriving. Um, Yes, it's aligned. Yes, we talked about that. Do we believe it can eventually meet the graduation criteria? Hopefully, yes. Should it start a sandbox? Okay, it's already um, offered as incubated. Um, I think my point is that all the bullet points under project are just repeating stuff that we have already agreed to above. And my question was, is there anything in that bullet list that does not that is new? And I think it is not. Yeah, okay, sorry. I yeah. didn't see anything when I read through, but... We, we copied over large sections from above, so I would also, unless someone has something specific, prefer right. to have the whole thing as one agreement. We added a little bit of text at the end with the complete overview, and that's it. I don't see any... Yeah, that's yeah thanks, good point. Right. Rate ongoing contribution, that's kind of... But this is also basically copying from above. Okay, are you happy without the links, Steve? <laughs> okay, cool, that's a yes. I, I think this is all fine to me. But... Um, cool, let's have a call for consensus on this one. Mostly copied, but any objections? Okay, let's go. Users, again, repeated question. Um, strength and weaknesses, concrete examples of those. Um, Hotel's fine, you can resolve my comment. Okay. Um, I guess we could elaborate more on this, but compatibility is definitely a plus. Perception versus reality, any bus. There is some show bus. Um, Reliability, the recent release saw tens of thousands of engagements within days. Okay, um, there is definitely lots of usage, I would say. That was a section about call for consensus. Amazing. Okay, okay, context is just, uh, yeah, story. Um, like, do we need to have a consensus for this for context? And that's really it, to be honest. So I don't think we did that on Thanos Cortex, really, even. I just had one question on the how necessary is it? It looks like my comment wasn't very, very clear. I'm just, my, my question was around, uh, it clearly it's being used by Prometheus. I'm assuming the expectation is it's to be used beyond Prometheus. Um, if that is the case, then then how, why, when, like what are like what are the some plans around that? If no, then why is it not just like part of Prometheus or a sister project of Prometheus? Why is it actually being broken out from Prometheus? That's also part of the spec itself. Um, there is substantial um, polit politics around if anyone is um, like supporting something which is named after Prometheus is super touchy. And with the exception of Paul Dix back a few years ago, no one wanted to go there. Uh, it has been widely implemented and called Prometheus Exposition Format, which is a thing which basically solved itself over the years through to the brutal success of Prometheus. Yet that is part of where the initial thing is coming from to have a, a politically neutral place, but obviously heavily inspired and compatible with everything uh, 
which the CNCF graduate projects are doing. So that's the um, that's the thing to to phrase it different. So I I think we we uh, su we support. Or do you have specific concerns which are not being answered by what is written there? Maybe you phrase it as such. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Let me. I'll take a look. Everything yeah. CNCF uses this for metrics uh, transmission. Yeah. I, I I think in addition, like I don't think Prometheus. Yeah. Many SaaS vendors, right, provide remote, right, you know, capabilities, and it might be Prometheus behind it. It might not. But that's the whole. That's the whole point. I think. Right. Yeah, I think part of my question comes because like OpenSymmetry took a different approach. Like the same applies to OTLP, but OTLP is part of OpenSymmetry. It could be a separate project, but why? Um, and that was just more of a question. I don't think it necessarily matters. Like I don't think it changes anything. I just wanted to raise the question. Yeah, again, no, that, uh, makes, that makes sense. To make it easier for third parties to support this. And um, yeah, that's the reason why it was split out in a court. Like we talked about this with Dan and, and Chris back before we even started this, as they saw this as a strategically important thing for CNCF. So. Doesn't make sense, Steve. And it yep. looks like hopefully those are answered as well. Um, okay, it's really the time so i think it's it's really the time until everyone goes to another meeting to have can we do the last section please okay. if we only have one left that's already last okay okay it's we can have a page you mean the compare yes yeah so um and then we can have like a global consensus clearly compared and contrast with peers so the first alternative is just prometheus exposition format which um, makes sense. And it's clear statement that open telemetry uh, intends to support open metrics as well in on the wire. And uh, the comment from Michael is, can we link that? And there's already a link, maybe we can add that. Yeah, you can just click resolved. Perfect, perfect. And, and there are other uh that's a good call out, Steve. Collect the and telegraph. Although those aren't really wire formats, right? That's but for a wire format, they're not. Of course, none of them are wire formats, and we're deliberately not touching the implementations. Um, so they are outside the scope of considerations for a wire format. The wire formats, you can make a point that Modbus should be considered, but it really is not for metrics. Uh, beyond that, there are no widely adopted wire formats which deal with metrics. The rest are implementations, and that's the difference. That makes to me and uh, makes sense to there me. Are not wire formats. Steve, what do you think? I'm good. Yeah. If someone's using Telegraph today and they wanted to write out open metrics, I mean, I guess they'll just get it for free from the Prometheus stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right, time is up. So time is for like, a, I guess, full recommendation call for consensus. Um, are we happy to recommend that to TOC as project for incubation stage? Looks, looks green to me. Any objections, any comments? Going once, going twice. Okay, um, looks like it's green. Thank you, everyone. Uh, it was kind of, again, Elaborative. Okay, so one one point um, no, of context. For everyone, for everyone who took part in this, you can add yourself as the reviewer. Uh, so you're on the record as having actually done the work. If you want, uh, you don't have to. Yeah. Everyone is free to do this anonymously. But if you did the work, you should probably claim your credit. Um, so feel free to write yourself in up above. Thank you, Bartek, so, for driving this with vigor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but also and, and I feel thanks. I feel thanks for all, anyway, all folks that's... being being here. Right, that's that's yeah, really that's awesome of you. Um, will we meet on twenty second? Or we have a few things left. I think also Matt wanted to update on what he did. We have uh, something by Simone, uh, Simone, 
which yep. uh, which she wanted to present. I think going into the holidays with with uh, yes, yeah, sorry, I'm putting on my my chair head again at the moment. We have plenty of stuff, and we had a point of order at the beginning that we will have that call. Of course, there's enough work to be done. So, okay, cool. We'll just hammer it awesome. out. Okay, uh, thanks. Right. Right. Sorry for thanks over time. Thank you, everyone. Bye bye. Yeah. See you next week. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Have a great holiday, everybody. Oh, we have seen each other before, but yes, see you. <laughs>